Good afternoon, students. Um, in this second trimester, the first week, um, I'm going to be covering the topic about ecology. I'm going to try to divide this uh, lesson into three videos um, so that you know the videos are not that long. All right. I will jump right in into the lesson's objectives. The first one is to recognize the importance of ecology in our country and to value the diversity of ecosystems in Panama. That's the first, that's, those are the two objectives that I'm going to be covering. These are some of the um, activities. This one is just for you so that you review it. Um, but this, this question is really important. This question is going to come in the, in the quiz. What is ecology? Ecology studies the relationship between organisms and their environment and the balance between this relationship, right? In the environment, we have um, abiotic factors and biotic factors. Biotic factors are all the living things in this um, in this in in this planet. For example, insects, plants, microorganisms, reptiles, mammals, birds, etc. But those abiotic factors um, are things that are not, um, I would say, living things. For example, the air water, etc. Those are um, abiotic factors. This is just for the fun of it. I just wanted to clarify these two terms, biotic and abiotic factor factors. A means absence of, right? So this is the basically the, the prefix, the meaning of the prefix A. Then moving on, this is just a vocabulary. I will not cover this, but the reading comprehension activity, yes. Um, I'm going to give the pronunciation of this text so that you produce the text, the pronunciation of the text as close as the pronunciation, as my pronunciation, but if you can do it better, that's wonderful. I'm going to read it because the first quiz is about reading, reading basically pronunciation. So, I'm going to start. Ecosystems and biodiversity in Panama. Panama is home to many different ecosystems and has an amazing amount of biodiversity. Bio biodiversity refers to all the different types of living things, for example, plants, animals, etc. In a certain area, in Panama, a few hectares may be home to more species of plants, fungi, animals, and microorganisms than all the U.S. and Canada combined. Why do you think Panama has so much biodiversity? Well, over three million years ago, Panama rose up through volcanic activity and created a bridge between North and South America. This allowed land and marine life to migrate from North to South and South to North. For this reason, many people call Panama the biological corridor. In Panama City, there is a whole museum dedicated to the biodiversity in Panama called Biomuseo. A couple common ecosystems in Panama are tropical islands, tropical dry forest, and tropical mountain forests. There is plenty of wildlife both on land, in, and in water. Let's start with the islands. Two of my favorite islands 
regions in Panama are San Blas and Bocas del Toro. These are both found on the Caribbean side of the country and have beautiful clear water, white sand, palm trees and lots of marine life. The rural Los Santos region of Panama, Tono Sea, is mostly made up of tropical dry forests. It is called this because the ecosystem has huge changes between the wet and dry season. In the wet season, around May to December, it rains almost every day. The landscape is lush and green. In the dry season, around December to April, there can be drought and the land turns from green to brown. Like most places in Panama, there is a lot of wildlife. Whenever we go to Tonosi, I always see monkeys playing in the trees. I have also seen a lot of snakes, lizards and spiders there too. One of my favorite cities in Panama is called Boquere. It is, a, it is in a tropical mountain forest while there are still wet and dry seasons the land does not dry up as much as in the tropical dry forests. Boquere and other tropical mountain forests in Panama are amazing for hiking, seeing waterfalls, bird watching and swimming in rivers. Volcan Baru, the highest point in Panama, is found in this region. Another great thing about the tropical mountain forests of this region is the coffee growth, the volcanic soil, and proper amount of rainfall help produce some of the best coffee in the world. All right, hopefully um, you get the, the 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 pronunciation of this reading. Um, I would like you to read it. I would like you to record an audio of this rhythm and then send it to me. Send it to me by Edmodo first. That's, that's where I'm going to be collecting this. Read it, practice it, make sure that you listen to the pronunciation of it. And then once you're ready, then you have to record an audio and then upload it on Edmodo. That's our first um, activity or first assignment. I think it's pretty easy because I'm giving you already the pronunciation. The This reading um, also um, you need to also comprehend the reading because I'm going to include this uh, part or some questions of this reading on a quiz called reading comprehension quiz. So I'm going to basically um, do one quiz, a little bit, you know, um, in two parts. The first part is pronunciation and the second part is comprehension. So I think this is the video, the first video, and then um, I'll be discussing more about this topic in the second video and perhaps in a third video. Thank you for your attention, students, and if you have any question about this, first assignment, let me know and we can have a Zoom meeting in regards to it. Take care.